Okay, let's do a quick rundown of how to create polygroups and what you can do with them. So we've got our select rect here, which I can access if I hold control and shift. And I'm gonna need a new piece of geo, so I'm gonna just hold control and drag out. So now these are all sitting on the, both tor tori or whatever they are, on the same sub tool. So I'm gonna go down to my polygroups menu, which is in the, uh, the tool menu, and I'm gonna hit auto groups. What this will do is it'll put different elements in their own polygroup. So these are not welded together, so they are going to be on separate polygroups. I can control the visibility by holding control and shift and selecting on the polygroup. It will show only that polygroup. If I want to invert my selection, I can hold control and shift and drag outside of the mesh and it will uh, basically just invert the visibility. Um, you can hold control and shift and uh, select specific geo that you want. If I want to put this geometry into its own polygroup, I just hit control W and there you go. Now it's in its own polygroup. You can hit auto groups to again, reset the polygroups. I can hit control W, which will put everything that's visible on one polygroup. So what that means is I can like isolate this stuff here, hit control W and now it's on its own polygroup and the behavior is consistent. If I switch to select lasso, it's going to be basically identical if I'm clicking on verts or edges, but if I are uh, verts or faces, but if I click an edge, it's going to give me the ability to uh, isolate a, a ring, right? Whatever that ring happens to be. So, and it's the default behavior is it's going to hide it, but again, you can very easily invert it by just holding control and shift and dragging off of the mesh. So I can hit control W, which will put all visible geometry into one polygroup and, you know, so on and so forth. So I'm going to hit uh, control W, put everything in one polygroup. We'll hit auto groups here and take a look at some of these other options. So I don't think these have UVs, but um, if you had geometry with UVs, you could, yeah. So the, the UVs are not welded. So basically we're getting the same thing as if we just hit uh, auto groups here. But if you've got different things on different UVs, you can you can immediately simply add uh, polygroups based on the UV shells that way. Um, let's see, I'm gonna add another something here. It'll just depend like uh, whatever this guy, I'm just gonna scoot it out of the way. And we'll merge it down. So another option that can be useful is, uh, where are we again? Uh, merge similar groups. So you can see that these two are now on the same, uh, the same polygroup. And, and this is good for like, say if you've got a, a piece of geometry that has a bunch of bolts in it or something, and you want all the bolts to be on their own polygroup, because then you can very easily give them like a material ID color or something. That is a thing that you can do very quickly with the, just one little button push here. Uh, let's see, you can group by normals. And I think there's a range here. So like the higher this gets, probably the less sensitive it becomes, right? And the lower this gets, probably the more sensitive it becomes. Group visible, that one we've already kind of looked at. That's uh, I think control W, basically the same thing. Let's see what group front does. I've never used it. Yeah, as you would expect, it's whatever's facing towards the camera, which is, I guess, kind of cool, All right? Uh, group masked. The hot key for this is control W, um, which is going to be the, the same thing here as a group mask. And masking is a, is a really, really powerful way to add polygroups uh, for, for stuff very quickly. Uh, let's see. And then polypaint and I, I, yeah, so there's from masking. We've already talked about Dynamesh sub in another, uh, another video. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Anyways, polypaint, it's pretty unusual to do anything with polypaint really, but uh, these days, so I'm going to hit control W. By the way, Shift F is the hot key to make the polyframe come on. Uh, we're gonna do an auto groups, and I'll just kind of show you real quick, like what what uh, the poly paint stuff looks like. So, like, let's uh, we'll go to the color menu. I guess I'll tear it off. So we'll make this one red, and we'll make this one whatever green, and this one purple. And uh, hit Control W. So you, when you hit uh, uh, the polyframe on it, it's going to go ahead and hide whatever your your polypaint is uh, to show you what the polygroups are. Uh, 
but if I come down here and do from polypaint, you know, basically it's the exact same thing. So anyway, that's what that is. If you, if you know, you do have material IDs painted in, uh, there are some scenarios I could think of where this, this would be kind of useful, but uh, like if you had a slot cut into a piece of geometry and you wanted the interior of the slot to be a different material ID uh, or a different group, whatever you could, you could, uh, you could use that kind of workflow. But anyway, it's not very difficult, but uh, very useful. I use it all the time. So if you see me like clicking around and doing stuff, uh, select lasso is the one that I use to isolate the ring. And uh, select rect is the one that uh, it, it basically replicates all of the behavior that you get with select lasso minus the uh, ability to isolate things by their by ring. So I typically will not use select rect just because that's a, a useful feature and I like a lot.